Here now, Rob Astorino, GOP candidate for governor of New York and former Westchester County exec. Rob, this woman has some kind of, uh, she has a problem. I mean, there's something wrong. I'm sorry, but she comes across as unbalanced to me. But she, you know, she's just a trailblazer in trying to bring, uh, bring sanity to the criminal justice process here, really. She could be, Laura, the most partisan attorney general in the United States, certainly in New York's history. And there's no question with her basic comments that she said before the election in 2018 when she was running. Her whole campaign was going after Donald Trump. And that should make a lot of people nervous because when you've got a prosecutor, a judge, an attorney general, somebody with power to take away your livelihood, your reputation, your freedom, and they're prejudging and going after you as a person. She wasn't following where the breadcrumbs led. She was laying down the breadcrumbs. She's been doing that. She called the NRA a terrorist organization. And then, of course, she went after them and went after their bankruptcy, right? So this is a woman who um, is obviously wants to be governor of New York. She's now going after Cuomo in, you know, we'll see if she actually comes out with anything aggressive with all his scandals, but she's got a lot to gain. But her whole reason for running for attorney general was, I'm going to go get Donald Trump. Now, does anyone think that this is a legitimate investigation? It, no. It's not. And whether you it's loathe or fraud. love Donald Trump, it doesn't yeah. matter. No. Right. Well, you can't have a partisan attorney general, according to the Democrats. No. I mean, that's what they were accusing Bill Barr of, who was the furthest thing from it. That's what they accused Barr of. OK, but by the way, she's also just a, you know, a, a brazen left wing activist. Last September, Rob, she recommended that the NYPD stop making traffic stops and, 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 and violent, yeah. violent crime in New York. Uh, I mean, the homicide shootings are up. So real crime is devastating the state, not just in New York City, by the way. Uh, and she's, she's not really talking about that because that's bad for her. All she does is obsess on this, unbalanced. Yeah, well, in, in their view, criminals are victims and victims are criminals. And, you know, no cash bail, which she supports, is wreaking havoc in New York City. If she was really concerned about corruption, she'd be going after Democratic legislators in Albany, her own team, who formed their own nonprofit a few years ago and raised a million dollars ostensibly for low-income children and scholarships and education. It was revealed that they didn't spend one dime, not give one scholarship, but they spent all the money on their own parties and everything. And when she was asked about it, she said it was troubling, never did a thing about it. So it, it's clear what the agenda is. Look, Albany is a cesspool. It's getting stinkier. It's disgusting what's happening. Cuomo is obviously in charge and very corrupt. Can I you called turn, him out in 2014 for his corruption. Rob, Rob. Uh, yes. A I'm from absolutely. I'm from Connecticut. A okay, Connecticut needs a, a, a Republican conservative revival to take place. All of New England needs it. New York is the crown jewel of the Northeast as for electoral votes. Yep. Republicans always write it off in the presidential election. But can can you can this be flipped? Can this be changed? This dynamic, real quick. There is no question. There is no question. What's happening in New York City? What's happening in the suburbs? The Democrats control everything everywhere. One party rule has been devastating. People are leaving to go to Florida or they already have a real estate agent that they're calling. And yes, it can be one. And I ask people to go to robastorino.com and, and join us in this fight. You know, I gave him the closest race of his life, Andrew Cuomo, in 14. And you know All what? Right. We're going to finish the job, whether it's Cuomo or Tish James or whatever Democrat gets off that <laughs> merry-go-round. All right, Rob. Great to see you tonight. Thank you.